All right, it's day two here in Panama, Calamia, and this morning the boys are heading out and doing some tuna fishing, and you guys are? We are going scuba diving, looking for whale sharks. And we just got everything ready, and we're heading down to the boat right now, so it's gonna be amazing. Cross your fingers. Okay, we are almost to the scuba diving spot and we just found a tree, a giant tree just floating in the water. So we're gonna take a pause and see if we can catch any mahi. There's more, there's oh, more. Yeah. Oh man. Wow, look at that wahoo. What? Wahoo, wahoo right there. I feel like I gotta wake Jessie up. I feel like she'd be upset. Right <laughs> What is it? Whatever it is, it doesn't want to be caught. What is it, Mom? Uh, uh, Benita. Oh, Benita. Okay, we couldn't get him fishing, but we're gonna we're try gonna to get go him fishing. get him okay. spear fishing. <laughs> Get your wheel shark outfit on. Yeah, in case we don't see one, we can just pretend oh, that yeah. I'm one. <laughs> Jeremy, I was thinking yeah. about you. I really was. Pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's hard to top that. Hey. 
Let me introduce you to some of these guys. Hey, this is Tom. Say hi, Tom. How are you? Tom, where are you from? Stewart, Florida. All right. That's good enough. This is <laughs> this is Aaron. Aaron, where are you from? Palm City, Florida. Hey, what do you do? I'm a pilot for one of the airlines in the United States. Tom, what do you do? I'm a retired fireman. All right. And then here's Jeremy. If you guys watch our video, you've probably seen Jeremy before. What do you do, Jeremy? Teach kiteboarding and do trips like this. Join us all sometime. And this is Carlos. Carlos is an awesome captain. He works here at Calamia. Say hey, Carlos. Hey. Good. How far are we going? Uh, 45, 48 miles. We're at the first spot. There's a commercial fishing boat right here. Should be some tuna around. They're going to be for Benita for bait. Crazy how many Bonita, big Bonita, are swimming underneath that boat and following it all around it. You can see them through the water, it's shining. So many. Here we go. Jesus. Just like that. <laughs> takes it let him go for 10 seconds and then and then he'll set it with the boat leave it in the rod holder all right baits are in the water they see some marlin un underwater and we're right next to this commercial fishing boat here still just waiting to hook up now carlos is just saying these guys are dragging a bunch of stuff off the side of the boat there's a big log on the other side and that's why all the, the bait fish the bonita are all just hanging out around the boat it's like you know, a mini ecosystem they're just dragging around with them. Everything. Everything. When the commercial boat see the base full of porpoise and tuna, they go close to the action. All tuna is coming behind the boat. Just for, because they yeah. see all the bait, they yeah. come right up to it. The boat moves three, four miles an hour, putting the long line in the water. The main the commercial boat hook it all in the hand, the hand line. Wow. Putting the clip in the long line, the tuna in the long line. No marlin behind that boat. We're switching it up. Carlos got the outriggers out and some big skirts on them, so we can try trolling a bit.
Got a dolphin on. Right above your head. Big old dolphin. One dove, one shot in the gap. The hook not in the mouth. The hook not in the mouth. Are you ready? <laughs> That was amazing. We saw white tips, we saw turtles, we saw eels, we saw tons of schools of barracuda, which was crazy. And we just got word from the other boat that it is really, really rough. They can see some tuna, but they're having a tough time. So we're gonna stay where it's calm and try to go catch some more fish. <laughs> and you said they wouldn't get that thing. <laughs> Ooh, that was brave with that. <laughs> Eight? Yeah, good bait. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know what that was, but it was big and it was got dark. Something. You got him? Nice. Okay, we have some bonita for bait, and now we are going to try bottom fishing, maybe some grouper or some snapper. Mighty fine day, if I do say so. What do you think? Yes. Good day? Mighty fine. Good mighty day? Fine. Amazing. <laughs> Just trolling around for a bit, no other fish other than that mahi, but it got super calm out here. The wind laid way down, so we're gonna jump in the water, try to do some spearfishing. 
We're on this like this pinnacle sticking up from the bottom and we're right off this little island over here. It's like a pretty cool spot. Hello, I can't get it. Get a lot of fish. Swimming, try to point him out, and he swam around you. Oh, was he closer than when I saw him? A little, probably right behind you. The chum they were coming up and eating was good. Kenan's grinning the most out of everyone over there. Yeah, baby. What happened, Kenan? <laughs> I just had a good day. I shot my spear gun one time. In my That's all life. you need. Uh -huh. <laughs> you were one for one today, huh? One for one. Dude, I heard that on the radio. I'm like, That's awesome. <laughs> Was it sweet? Oh, man. We saw something floating. We, we saw a giant tree. Eric had a, Eric had a mahi on for a second and it got off, and then we kept casting, caught a tuna, and a little uh, whatever bonita, and then we saw this wahoo swim by. Monster, you, like yeah. like and then you crocodile jump, you size. Well, first, I had to like, like first I had right. to figure out how to put the float line on and take that off. Oh, you had time to change and put the float line on. Oh yeah, put oh. the float line on, and then I had to, and then I chilling. couldn't, and then I didn't have the butt of the gun. So I'm like, <laughs> I go, okay, you know, this is it. So I just went in and took a shot. And that was it. <laughs> That's up. But, but it hit home. Did you pass the gun back to the boat, or did you reel him in in the water? No, I put, I had the float line. Oh, oh. and then I'm pulling it, and, and the, the float, float comes off. off. Oh. The float, and I'm holding it, and then it was still alive, and I'm like, oh, sh and I'm just kicking as hard as I can to keep my head above water. And then I got it over to the boat, and they pulled it in. So you guys were like halfway to the dive spot or something? Or yeah, we were just cruising spot? out. Not even. Just we saw like an amazing piece of float. Or yeah. the dive on the way to the dive on the spot. Way. Wow. It yeah, was just awesome. awesome. Yeah. It was a godsend. And then it underneath, got, underneath got that there. branch, the only thing there was the wahoo, just like. And then went under it, and then I'm waiting, and it went like just right past it. Like, how far was the shot? He was so right there. next to it. To the blue thing. I can't wait to see a picture. Oh, yeah, I mean, man, we got, got, we got full footage. Did you get all in the water? It was right next to it. No way. You got it on GoPro? We were all in the water, man. watching this happen. We were like, yeah, We all just get in. Yeah, man. So it's actually very cool. That's dope. And then the dive was cool, too. We left. Okay, we get the mullet snapper. We use the head of a bonito. It was really fun. And then what's this? What's all this big bag? This big bag was the wahoo that he got with the spur gun. Hey, here's your wahoo, man. Look at that bag! Oh, yeah. That was a big bag. 
Yeah. That's a good one. Like this too. Yeah. We spent the rest of the day relaxing by the pool and enjoying some of Kenan's freshly speared wahoo, sashimi style. We didn't find the monster tuna that we were looking for yet, but everyone had an awesome day and we had a great feeling about tomorrow.